Hi, I'm here with Raj Pandya, Director of Thriving Earth Exchange. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having this conversation. I'm excited about it. Thanks for inviting me. So you're the Director of Thriving Earth Exchange. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty simple. Um, we sit down with community leaders, understand what their priorities are, where they want to go, and then we try to find ways that Earth and Space Science can help them get there. And then we reach out to AGU members and other scientists and ask if they want to volunteer to be partners on that project. Then we do everything we can to support that team working together to make a real concrete impact in the places those communities are. Fantastic. Can you give me a concrete example of yeah. who a community member is that yeah. you would engage through Absolutely. Thriving Earth Exchange? Absolutely. So one example was in the city of New Orleans. There was a community a neighborhood leader who was concerned about flooding in her neighborhood and she wanted to collect data to show that flooding was a real threat to that neighborhood. And the data she collected was not only used she not only used that data with the city to help them expand their redevelopment program to include her neighborhood, it also ended up being contributed to the local NWS office to help them do a better job of hydrological forecasting. Fantastic. And so Thriving Earth Exchange, were you part of that, that connection? So yeah. between the local actor and say NWS, exactly. you serve as the conduit to make that connection? Right. And we helped find the scientist who had the right kind of technical expertise, but also the right kind of social and collaborative skills to be a good partner with that community effort. Um, another example is a town in uh, New Berlin, Maryland. They bought a chicken processing plant and they wanted to turn it into a park and they needed some help understanding what kind of contaminants they needed to be aware of and how they might remediate them. So we helped them connect with a scientist who could help them map out a remediation strategy. And they actually estimated that that saved them about $5 million um, through uh, consultants that were trying to push more than they needed. Fantastic. So can you tell us who those scientists are, maybe not by name, but sort of what types of disciplines you're engaging in Thriving Earth Exchange it's to help with these challenges? Great question. It's almost every kind of discipline you can imagine. Um, you know, the technical expertise is important, but what's also important is the fact that scientists bring a whole skill set around how you ask questions, how you investigate issues, how you collect data. They know how to navigate these systems. They know how to find interesting and relevant information. They know how to read scientific papers. So sometimes the discipline, it's the broad sort of understanding of scientific processes that they bring to the table, even as much as their specific disciplinary expertise. Great, and so for those of us at AGU, how is it that we get involved in Thriving Earth Exchange or start making these connections between the research we do and, and communities that yeah. are, have these questions? So I'd give you two answers. Okay. Um, the first is you can just check out our website, thrivingearthexchange.org, and um, you can look for projects that are going on that you might want to get involved in. Um, but even more profoundly, I would encourage folks to talk to their neighbors, to talk to people they know, to find out what kind of issues are going on in their community, and to play a sort of how could I help game or how could my science be relevant game, and to think about their science broadly, not just, mm -hmm. you know, I'm an x-ray crystallographer, but I'm a scientist. Um, I, think, I think one of the most profound things we can do to help connect is, is actually work in the places we live, work, and play. And and try to get involved in local issues and try to bring the technical skills that we have to bear on those local issues. Not in a telling people what to do way, but in a being a partner in figuring out what we want to do kind of way. Right, and do you know of any resources that sort of help facilitate that interaction? You know, Thriving Earth Exchange is one, but I can imagine for many of us, having that, that conversation or initiating that conversation outside of our expertise um, can, can be difficult to start or to sort of cue into that, um, oh, that's a question I can either help answer or I can help connect the, the pieces or the dots for someone to find those resources. Yeah, I think, so good places to start might be local boundary organizations. Um, you obviously know about them because you're one. Um, but you know, there's Sea Grant programs, there's RESAs, there's Climate Service Centers. Those are all entrees. Um, we've had really good luck connecting with like the National League of Cities or the International County Managers Association. And they can help us. And, and that's one of the things AGU as an organization can do. We can build those organizational connections mm -hmm. that allow our members to reach out to us and say, hey, I'm interested. Is there a local connection? Is there a local partner you can introduce me to? And we can often do that. Well, I actually think this is the cusp or the beginning of a really profound change in the way we think about science and its role in society. And I think it's sort of an awakening to a sense of, of not just doing science for the sake of knowledge, which is wonderful, 
but actually doing science to help build this better world we want to build and doing it with humility and grace and in partnership and drawing on a whole repertoire of skills, not just scientific skills, but community knowledge, community wisdom. And I think this kind of locally engaged, meaningful work is how we're going to figure out how we, how we live sustainably, how we live on this planet in an equitable way. Well, so. fantastic. Thank you for all your work and yeah, for Thriving Earth Exchange and for being so committed to all the science to action work that's underway this week at AGU. AGU TV has all the coverage you could want from this year's conference. Now make sure to explore all of our content, which is updated each and every day of the conference, to stay up to date with all the very latest AGU news.